That way we have our freezer stocked with meat and we don't have to worry about some of these rising grocery costs and we're also stocking up our pantry um, this weekend. We're working on getting certain things stocked up. Not everything, like I'm not panic buying and freaking out, I have a lot of stock already. Um, but I just want to be aware of what's going on financially out there in the world and um, just make sure that our family has some food security for the next coming months. And welcome back to our channel. So I'm really excited to bring to you another large family grocery haul. Um, this time though, we're gonna be doing some massive stocking up. So I'm gonna have several shopping hauls that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this one uh, video. So the first shopping haul that I've done is from Sam's Club. And the reason that we are um, doing, the reason I'm doing several shopping hauls in this one video is because with the rising grocery prices and stuff, our family has decided to make sure that our freezer is stocked while the meat prices are still low. We're also um, in touch with some of our local farmers to purchase meat directly from the source instead of having to, ne we don't necessarily have to go to the grocery store to get some of our meat, so it's gonna be a lot cheaper that way. My husband's actually gone right now picking up a half of a hog and we have I think a half or a quarter I think it's a half of a cow ordered so but that won't be here for a couple of weeks yet so just know that that is coming up either in one of our future hauls or that we have that purchased so um, so that way we have our freezer stocked with meat and we don't have to worry about some of these rising grocery costs and we're also stocking up our pantry um, this weekend we're working on getting certain things stocked up. Not everything, like I'm not panic buying and freaking out, I have a lot of stock already. Um, but I just want to be aware of what's going on financially out there in the world and um, just make sure that our family has some food security for the next coming months. Um, and then when we do need to buy things, we can either buy them while they're on sale or um, just stock up a little bit here and there to ease the burden of our grocery costs because we do have a large family that we're feeding. So let's get into the first part of this grocery haul. This part is from Sam's Club. We're gonna be doing another Sam's order. We put one in last night um, because there were a few things that my husband knew he wanted to get right away, but I need to go through our pantry and see what other things we need. But he did our first part of, the, of our grocery shopping already. Um, and just grabbed a few things while he was thinking about it. So this one is from Sam's Club. Let's get into this and then I'll share the rest of them with you here. If you like videos like that, click that thumbs up button. It really helps my channel out a lot. And hit the subscribe button if you're not already and the bell for notifications so you never miss when one of my videos drops. All right, let's do so, this. So I actually, my husband actually picked up three of these cases of water. There's actually 32 in them but I, did, I didn't want to lift all of them on the table and then have to carry them down to our pantry as well. So um, we did pick up three of these 32 packs and then we picked up the Mission Flour Tortillas. Um, there's 40 tortillas in here. I actually have um, another 20 already in our pantry. So I actually have 60 tortillas at the moment, but these will not go to waste. We use these all the time. We do lots of taco nights and stuff. So we just wanted to make sure that we were super stocked up on stuff like this. Now, one thing is, is let's say the prices of things just did go crazy. Um, I actually do know how to make homemade tortillas. It's just, it's a lot easier to buy, <laughs> buy them than make them, I found. And then we got a 15 pound bag of russet potatoes and then a 10 pound bag of the uh, gold potatoes because my husband really likes that I leave the skins on in our roasts, but he's been wanting the golden ones. He likes the skins on those a lot better. So that is what those are for. And then some of our pantry stock up with some spices because one thing is when you have a stock of meat, um, if you have spices to go with it, you can make lots of tasty things without a lot of money. So, um, one of the things we picked up was some black pepper at, for our pantry stock. And I think there is 
yeah, it's over a pound of pepper in here. And then uh, two pounds of seasoned salt. And then we got this big thing of the ranch seasoning. Now they had stopped carrying this for a while and I was so bummed because like I make crepe chicken and stuff and I use this to do that and they had stopped carrying it and I was like, oh, oh no, because <laughs> we really, really like this stuff. So they finally brought it back in our Sam's Club and I was super excited about that. So, and then my husband picked up this no salt seasoning uh, lemon pepper. So he really likes to make like lemon pepper chicken. And then this is a stock up item. Uh, butter was actually kind of pricey. So I will keep an eye out because once in a while our local gas station actually has real butter and they'll carry it for like, I think like $1.99 or 99 cents, something like that. And I'll stock up when that comes out. But I do freeze my butter. Um, so I'll keep one in our downstairs freezer and then I put one of these in our upstairs freezer as well and I'll just pull out a box at a time as I need them. So I've got eight boxes of butter there and then we got a big tub of the country crock and then um, and then a four pound bat box. This was super cheap. This was like $1.99 for this four pound box. So we don't have to worry about running out of that. We have plenty of salt. And we got two of the five pound bags. So we've got 10 pounds of the cheddar and Monterey Jack shredded cheese. I will probably put some more of this in my freezer. So what we'll do is we'll um, put these into smaller Ziploc bag sizes and I'll just store these in the freezer and pull them out as I need them. Cheese freezes really, really well. And then this was a big meat stock up. So they had, I think, 10 pounds of chicken for like $19.99. So we ended up doing $100 um, worth of meat. We picked up 50 pounds of chicken breasts. And I'll also stock up on some whole chickens as well um, because you can always get those super cheap. And I use whole chickens for lots of different recipes. But we love to have chicken breasts on hand. So we have 50 pounds of chicken breast and then um, I picked up a case of soda. That's for me. That's not a stock up item, but this is the first part of our grocery meat and pantry stock up. I'm trying to combat some of the rising grocery prices, trying to get some things stocked up before those prices rise too high. So that way we have a little bit of a nest egg in our house. Um, but we have a couple more orders that we will be sharing with you and uh, I will see you as soon as we get the next order. Okay, so <laughs> my hubby is back from picking up the pig and this, look at this you guys, this and all that <laughs> yes. is me. So you're excited, aren't you? Yeah, there's a lot here. Um, after you look at a half, probably need two hogs to get through a year. Yeah, I think so. So this is supposed to last us till October, but I, don't I think know a full it's hog would have made it till October. So I think we got to get two for a full year, but that's okay. Um, I do know where there's another one I can grab if I need another half. All right, so. so the first part of this haul is from Target, and they had, if you bought $50 worth of household items, you got a $15 gift card um, from Target. So anytime they have those, and if it's something that I definitely need for the household or I can stack my pantry up with, we'll grab it because then later we can save $15 on our next order, so it's worth it. So I ended up picking up three of the Tide, and don't mind my laundry basket in the background, I have to put that stuff away yet. Um, I picked up three things of the Tide Ultra Stain Release, so I'm curious to see how this one works. I've been getting just the Tide Clean Breeze. This was the same price, so I wanna see um, what the stain lifting abilities on this is. And then this was for my husband, it's a partial pantry stock up, and he needed some. I got him the Edge Sensitive Skin, and then they now carry some of the Grove Collaborative products at uh, Target, and I needed some of my refills. This is a scent I have not tried yet. It's the Citron and White Rose. Um, so I'm curious to see what that one is. And this is their glass refill bottles that I've shown you in some of my hauls before. Okay, and then my husband needed some more razor refills. He gets these uh, Goodfellow five blade ones um, and they come with four cartridges. He really likes these, these work super well. Now I've been getting the Target brand of the refill of their version of the Venus razors, but I needed another handle because 
we've lost one somehow in the house and so my girls keep they keep taking mine out of the shower and so I'll go to shave and there isn't one there. So I ended up getting myself a new Venus handle and then this one also had um, two cartridges as well in it. And I think we have some spare ones yet. So, okay. And then my husband wanted some of these. Um, they had the Old Spice Swagger body spray. He really likes these. And then they had the Fiji body spray. And then he needed some more deodorant. So he got one of the Fiji and then in the swagger as well so he likes to match his deodorants to his body spray okay now this part of the haul is actually for our granddaughter it is her birthday tomorrow and so i picked her up this she's going to be three and i thought this was so cute she can be just like mommy it's got a little coffee cup and like the k-cups and then you press the button and it makes the brewing coffee sound like she can pour her coffee so I thought that was super cute. That was in the Disney Princess. And then they had this book. So I originally, she likes dinosaurs. I had one with dinosaurs on it, but then I saw this one and she has such an unusual name that I thought, you know what? Not very often can you put your child's name in the story, especially if they have a really unusual name. And this story is called On the Night You Were Born and it's a board book so she can She's only three yet, so she can play with it. She's not gonna tear the pages. She can sit down and read it, and mommy can read it to her. It's a nighttime story. It's called On the Night You Were Born. So it has, on the second page, it has this part on the story, and it says, So enchanted with you were the wind and the rain that they whispered the sound of your wonderful name. The sound of your name is a magical one. Let's say it out loud before we go on. And I thought that was so cool that you can insert their name into the book. And I just thought it was so pretty. It had such pretty pictures in it. And it'd be nice that her and mommy can read that together. And then, so she's got her coffee for the morning and she's got her book to go to bed at night. So then I picked her up, aren't these cute? It says good vibes and it's got the little LOL dolls on it. And then it's this really pretty like salmon color. And then it's got the little tan matching pajama shorts. So she'll have a nice pair of shorts for this summer so mommy can read her a book when she puts her to bed and she's got her coffee for the morning so i just thought that would be super cute for her birthday this year okay on to the food haul <laughs> so the rest of this stuff is from walmart i picked up a 60 count of the eggs because we are completely out um surprisingly it's not very often that i'm completely out of eggs but I was this time, we've been using a ton of them. And then you can see somebody already broke into it when I say we were out of toilet paper. <laughs> I had just like enough for a couple of people on the roll when I left. So I picked up one of the Mega Rolls, uh, 24 Mega Rolls of Angel Soft. And I tell you what, this lasted us. I bought Angel Soft the last time my husband did and it's not a brand that I normally pick up and it lasted us a long time. So for a large family, for toilet paper to last for a long time, that's a great thing. So I went with the Angel Soft again because it was definitely worth the money the last time. And then this is for, well, everybody in the house for their electronics, but my husband had requested it who wanted some of the compressed air. And then I don't have a back stack in my pantry of dish soap at all right now. Um, so I just picked up one thing of this pomegranate rose water scent of the dawn and the price of dish soap has actually gone up quite a bit um, i usually use this blueberry almond scent from palmolive but they have not had it in recently so i might have to check some other stores because maybe it's just a scent they've discontinued um, at walmart and then these were for my daughter ireland and she fell in love with the avocados on these socks and she's like mom it's avocado socks so I picture those up. They have like tacos and I don't know, llamas. So yeah, this is totally up her alley. There's a little sombreros and little tortilla chips wearing hats. <laughs> I don't know. And then I think there's some plain ones in here. So this is totally up her alley and she needed some new socks. So I got her those. And then we got some computer paper for our school room and my husband as well. He's been having to print a lot of things up for his work. And then I got two things of the vanilla caramel coffee creamer and some sliced deli cheese. I got a big tub of the cottage cheese. I don't think I needed sour cream, so I didn't pick any up this time. If I do, I'll just have my husband order some through maybe our Fairway store. And then they finally, they had a really 
the last couple of times that I've gone in, yogurt has been really hard to come by. Um, but I was able to pick up two of the tubs of vanilla and then one thing of the strawberry banana because we like to have this sometimes as like a side door lunch or a snack, um, sometimes breakfast and we'll put granola on it. So yeah, <laughs> it's been really hard to find. Well, Greek yogurt they have a ton of, but they haven't had a lot of like the regular yogurt. So, okay. And then for some of our snacking items, I picked up two things of strawberries. And then a big thing of kiwis, some blackberries, and then we got some raspberries and some blueberries. We picked up three gallons of milk and then a small watermelon, um, two things of Granny Smith apples, a pineapple. We got a bag of cuties and then I went with uh, three things of seedless grapes. I got the green ones, the red ones, and then the black ones. And then two bags of the Gala apples. Oh no, I'm sorry, I got Fuji this time. I've been getting Gala, but they had the Fuji in the bags and the price was right on them. So I really like Fuji apples. My kids tend to like the crisper, more sour apple. So these are, and then my youngest son, he'll eat either one, he doesn't really care, so. Um, and then we got two lemons. And this is also a snacking item, some green beans and then those mini cucumbers. Recently, I found that the cucumbers just haven't been very good quality, but these mini cucumbers, the quality's been really good, so it's been worth a little bit extra to pay for them. And then also for snacking some of the sweet peppers, I also use the red peppers in here when I make pork medallions. So um, it's kind of a multi-purpose. They'll get eaten for snacks, and I use them for some of my cooking. And then celery for snacking and cooking, lettuce, um, a tomato, some white mushrooms. So what I'm gonna do with these, because these haven't been lasting me, um, when I buy them, I'll open them and then they don't last very long. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze these uh, because I know you can freeze mushrooms. I'm gonna freeze some of them and then just keep a little bit in the fridge and then I'll just pull them out when I wanna use them for like salads and stuff. So they're not going bad so quickly. And then I picked up some more granola. I normally get this at Sam's Club, but we were out and I wanted some for my yogurt, so I just picked up a small bag there. Now, I had promised my little guy, if I could find some, that I would get him the dinosaur eggs brown sugar um, oatmeal, just so he could try it. I don't normally buy these, like, I don't know, more like fancier ones, because they tend to be a little bit more expensive. I normally buy the Mega Packs, but I thought I wanted to treat him to something, and then I found out my daughter Ireland really likes this too, so she said she was gonna eat these for breakfast as well, so I thought it was a nice little treat for him. Okay, and then this was just because we needed it, some Western dressing, and then a thing of ranch. Normally we get a little bit bigger one, but I forgot to specify when I asked my daughter and she was helping me shop what size, so she just grabbed one. So we'll have to pick up a couple more, and that's all right. Um, let's see. And then this is for our snacking time. So I'm really, I'm really excited about this. You have no idea. It's been like six months or more since I've been able to find it. I got some of the movie theater butter popcorn. So I've been able to find this in the store, but what I haven't been able to find is the white cheddar popcorn seasoning. And they had it in stock. They had five, you guys. I bought four of the five so I could stock my pantry up. We have not had it in so long. So really excited to see this back in the store. Um, yeah, so this is also for snack time and we're actually gonna break into this tonight and have some for a snack. And then I got a mega thing of the tangy fruit smiles and some pretzel sticks for snacking. Um, one of my daughters requested some plain bagels, so I picked those up. And then these are also for snacking. We got the chocolate and the caramel rice cakes. I haven't bought those in a while, so I was kind of happy to pick those up again. And then I got four loaves of the bread and then a thing of English muffins. I actually thought I was getting regular English muffins and these are wheat, but I think they'll be fine toasted and throw some peanut butter and honey on them and they'll be delicious. And then this was a pantry stock up item. I picked up four things of the fruit punch, four things of the lemonade. They didn't have four of the raspberry lemonade. I got the last two that they had, four things of the peach mango. And then my daughter, when she was shopping with me, saw this blue raspberry flavor and was like, oh, mom, we have to try that. So we picked up two of those. And then, I don't know why I only got one of these pomegranate lemonades. Maybe it was all they had. 
um, because normally I would have picked up at least two of them, so I'm not sure why I only got one. And then my oldest son had requested some more iced tea with lemon, so I stocked up on this forever ago, and I have not had to buy any until recently. It's probably been a good six, eight months since I've had to buy the iced tea with lemon flavor, so. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.